Okay, so CRMs. CRMs are what's called a customer relationship manager. And CRMs are a piece of software that you would use to keep track of your contacts, the um, companies or individuals that you are potentially selling to. Um, some of them can also help you keep track of potential sales and things like that. Um, so we're gonna take a look at one today. Hi there, I'm Kelly, your tech savvy business mentor. And today we're taking a look at the CRM for Mayo. Um, they are based in Poland and they are currently rolling out globally. So they reached out to me via email uh, earlier in the week to see if I would check it out and maybe do a review on it. So that's what we're doing this week. We're taking a look at Fermeo CRM. So one thing that's kind of cool, um, it happened before I was recording, so um, I didn't actually get to show you, but when you came into your account for the first time, and I'm sure you could probably get back to it, but there was a way that you could actually customize the way the interface looks for you. So you can make it look kind of plain and standard, or like you could choose fun backgrounds and stuff like this, which if you know me at all, you know, I'm all about the aesthetics because um, if it's not pretty, if it's not fun to go into, then you're just not going to do it that much. You're not really going to use it. So um, small little things, but big deal to me. Okay. So taking a look at all of this, we start out with our dashboards. This is where when we start adding in some information, we're going to get to see some charts and, and um, graphics and things like that here. So that's cool. We've got our users, which is um, just us for right now. We've got our timeline. So this will be based on tasks and stuff. Files. Mail, if we wanted to connect our email, which we're not going to do today, but that's good to know. Companies, so this would be like your customers and stuff like that, like accounts basically. Contacts, self-explanatory. Notes, deals, so these are like um, sales opportunities basically. I mean, I do really like that it has like a, um, like it's got this view of like the path, like so you could see the deals moving through the process. I like that a lot. That's one thing that um, I haven't been able to replicate on Trello because it's like a, it's dynamic. So it's something that, that you would need like code for. And um, there's probably a power up or something I could use, but I, I just haven't done that. Um, okay. Quotes, invoices, products, task, and calendar. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and add some information in here just so that we can play around with it. So we're going to create a product. So let's create Tech Savvy Academy membership. Let's give it a product code. Um, I don't really understand this. Like we don't really seem to have any choices here. So there must be something to that, but um, I don't know. And then purchase would be like if you're um, like reselling something. So like this is how much it costs you. And then you'd add like a markup or something, which... Um, I, I think originally I came in here and I, uh, yeah, here we go. We can, oh, so we could add markup. We could add profit margin, stuff like that. If that's something that you're, um, needing to worry about, which I don't personally, so we'll leave that out for right now. So let's just put the price in, uh, let's just say 300 bucks. And then we've got our tax, which is not 23. Let's just put it down to eight and then create the product. Okay, so now we've got our product in here. Let's add a customer. So add company. All right, so let's add the company of, ooh, let's add Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Emails, okay, let's see. Dumbledore. You gotta have fun when you're playing around with this stuff, right? Because if you don't, then come on. Um, Dumbledore at Hogwarts dot, oops, dot edu, of course, because it's a school. And then I'm the salesperson. Status is potential. We don't need a phone number. This is a client. So like, I guess if you're, like I said earlier, if you're somebody who's like reselling or you're like purchasing materials and things like that to make something, then like you could keep track of your 
relationships with your suppliers and vendors and things here. Industry, education. Um, and then let's just put in United Kingdom because that's where Hogwarts is. And I'm not going to put anything else in. So we'll create. All right, cool. So now let's add a contact. So Albus Dumbledore. Why does that look wrong when I type it? I'm not sure why. Um, okay, at hogwarts.edu. Then we'll add the company. And then again, if we had a, well, let's just do. Okay, great. All right, so now we also have our contact here. And we could create a note, but we don't really need to, right? So then let's look at deals. So this is like you want to be thinking about um, like a, a possible like package of deals. So let's say you had multiple products or someone was going to buy more than one quantity of a product. This is like what your potential sale, your potential earnings um, from this customer would be. So let's say um, membership for professors from Hogwarts. And see, it already brought in the email. That's kind of nice. Bring in Albus. And, you know, he found us through SEO because obviously. Um, okay, so let's see. So we've got... Oh, I'm going to make myself do math right now. Let's just say that they have five um, professors, even though we know they don't. Oops. Oh, my gosh. Am I crazy? Okay. We do that. And then, you know, I'm going to keep it USD just because I don't use, <laughs> I don't sell to the UK right now. So, um, but we'll, so we'll just leave it like that. So we go ahead and we create our deal and it's going to automatically show up here as contact established. This is like a new lead basically. Um, but a sales lead. So that's kind of the difference. One thing that I think sometimes can be confusing, there's a potential lead in that there's like a customer relationship lead. And then there's a sales lead, which is typically called like a deal, like they're calling it here or like an opportunity. And um, like a sales or a lead lead would turn into an account. So it would be the lead would have been um, Albus Dumbledore, which then could have converted into an account when he decided, yeah, I'm going to purchase from the Tech Savvy Academy. So, um, but a sales lead or a deal or an opportunity, something like this is something that you would use, you could use with an established customer if they want to purchase something again. So um, it's just like later in the process, but it's about like a potential deal. Okay, so then let's come in here and and add, let's add a quote. So we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign. And we kind of already put, see, I kind of feel like this should pull from, oh, no, no, because I didn't pull in the product there. I just put the potential value of this customer. So uh, let's go ahead and pull in a product. So we'll add the product and then we'll say quantity five, 1500. Good. My math before was correct. Um, and then we could give this quote a name, but let's just do like quote one. Um, okay. I'm sure like we would have to put in things like the address and stuff like that later, but let's not worry about that right now. Creation date is today and let's hit create. So now we have a quote. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is cool. I like how professional this looks. What I don't love is that it's kind of cold, right? Like we spend all this time creating branding and, you know, creating this recognizable brand for ourselves. And then like, this is just kind of boring. Um, but I bet that there's a way to like make it prettier. I don't know. This is right now. This is kind of like, while it's cool and professional, like it's not going to stand out. If they have a stack of quotes on their desk from something, this is not going to keep catch their eye and they're not going to like immediately recognize it for what it is. 
I wonder if we go in here, let's see, company information, description. Yeah, see, like you could put a website, which would probably show up over there. Phone number, address, all that would probably show up. But like settings here is just like, it's your settings for, uh, for Mayo like what tools you want to use and stuff like that. Oh, but we want to use projects. Ah, oh, let's grab all the things. Why not? Uh, we don't need to worry about ERP and asset management because those are really more for like larger businesses and typically for businesses that are managing inventory or need to manage their, um, like this would be also for like finances and stuff like that. But if you're a small business, you're probably using something like Stripe or PayPal or um, Square or something like that. And so you don't really need this right now. Um, but I do like how we have a lot of stuff up here. Let's see, departments, integrations. Oh, okay. So we can integrate with VoIP, text, Google Calendar, Symphony export, enable button, which generates a text file. Oh, okay. Gosh, a lot of this stuff, it's just like text files and whatnot for different integrations. And then only enterprise, Allegro, Pat, yeah. Okay, obviously I know what WooCommerce is. I'm assuming the rest of these are the same. So like being able to integrate with your payment service. Okay, and that's all, yeah, API, that's all just part of how you integrate things. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, but see, I'm still not seeing anything in here that um, would like make our quotes look pretty or like bring our branding in. Automation. Ooh, automation. Add action. So if we have a quote. Oh gosh, I could spend so much time in here. So quote expiration date. Mm. Okay. Oh, three days. Okay. Three days before the expiration date. Action, create task. Uh, follow up on quote. That's kind of cool because so you could set up like automations for yourself that when a quote is about to be due or about to be expired, that you get a task reminder to follow up. That's that's kind of cool. So that's going to happen um, periodically and then instant. Oh, geez. They've already got a bunch of stuff in here. Wow. So these are, I guess, like standard automations, which you can delete and add stuff to. But that's interesting that it comes with a bunch of them. And you could do like transactions, deals, emails. Okay. That's pretty cool. So yeah, very cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, like I come back to this idea of like, I want it to be pretty. I want it to be branded. I want it to be recognizable. And I don't see any of that. So that is a bit of a bummer for me. Okay. Oh, and new reminders and stuff over here. Okay. All right. Well, okay. So we'll, we'll move on past that. But um, so we've got our deal. We've got our quote right here. And I'm guessing we can turn a quote into an order. So, but let's look really quick back at our dashboard. So cool. So we've got stuff showing up here. I wonder if we could change the color. Oh yeah, probably here. Just curious, not like it matters. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really seeing that right away, but that's okay. Like I said, not really a huge deal. All right, let's just go back. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, so we can see 
our potential sales here. So that's cool. So then let's go in and turn our quote into an invoice so that we can bring something in here because that would be fun. I like to see all the things. I'm, I'm a nerd. Okay. So let's go back into our quote. And how do we create an invoice? Oh, invoices. No. Add, oh no, that's adding another quote. How do we, oh, maybe one of these? There we go, add invoice from quote. So, okay, we've got that, we've got that. So it looks like it just automatically does all that. Let's just create. Yeah, we're not, yeah, that's fine. And let's preview our invoice. Okay, yeah, I mean, see, this is fine. But again, it kind of like, boring. So um, I would like to be able to see, like, I feel like this rectangle right here is just like screaming for my logo. So um, I, I have to assume that there's a way to do that, but it's not immediately obvious. But I gotta assume, because that's, I mean, right? It would have to be. Okay. So, um, okay. So now let's go back to invoices, because I still think Oh, we've got an issued invoice. Oh, you know what? We probably need to like progress our quote. So, oh, oh, because we created an invoice that auto progressed it. That's cool. That's really cool. So then what about our deal? Is it linked? Yeah, because we created the quote from inside here, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, so let's finalize be finalizing our quote and then but how do you how do you oh do you just drag it in here to oh that's fun okay cool so we've won that quote or that deal and we can change the status of the quote it is we could go to accepted Let's just progress even further because we've already got our invoice, right? So then we'll hit executed. That's cool. And then let's mark our invoice paid. Woohoo! Okay, dashboard. Very cool. And then tasks is like, oh, okay. So this is literally like, like thing is think of this as like your post-it notes for your customer, right? So it would just be like like a follow-up call based on a particular deal. You could assign employees, prioritize, and then have like a planned start, planned end date. Okay. Ooh, so if we do that, then we can go look at it on the calendar too, right? Uh, let's do phone call, create. Cool. And then if we look at the calendar, I would assume that will show up on the calendar. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, and then, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay. So now let's look at the pricing because I feel like, you know, <clears throat> when we're, when we're in the trial, um, we saw that like where we were in like the enterprise level, like we were getting all the functionality. So I'm curious to see like what we were seeing, what we were using that we don't have access to if we're at one of these lower price points. So taking a look at this, this already is pretty decent pricing for what all you're getting here. Um, and I know that that's something, you know, that they pride themselves on is being um, affordable. So that's cool. So it's 19 bucks per user per month. That's not too bad. Um, 29 for professional and enterprise is 49. Okay. So standard stuff, we're getting the CRM, which is basically just like the customer information, email integration, invoices, bills and receipts, time sheeting, calendar projects, reports, charts, quotes, orders, two gigs of cloud storage, mobile apps, reminders. Not sure what that is and technical support, okay? Professional, we're getting all of that, plus custom fields, which those come in pretty handy. 
um, chat support, that's, that's pretty big deal. Cause this is just email support. So if you're like right in the middle of something, um, yeah, it, it would, it would definitely help to have live chat, editable templates for invoices, quotes, and agreements. So, okay. So then that implies that there should be like a way to make our invoices and quotes not boring. So, um, I did not see that anywhere. So I guess we'd have to look around a little further. Email templates, more storage, VoIP. Um, okay, so like subscription invoices, price groups. Oh, sales opportunities. Okay, so that means on the cheapest license, you don't actually get access to deals. You you can do quotes and orders and invoices, but you can't like track the deals and stuff, which is fine. Um, you could kind of use quotes in that way, I suppose. Uh, invoice handling automation the Gantt and Kanban diagrams and sales plan. I don't think we, I don't think we saw the sales plan. Okay. And then enterprise, we get all of that plus, um, customizations paid extra. I mean, you're already paying extra, so not entirely sure what would be extra there. Google calendar, email and phone surveys texting, e-commerce. Okay. So kind of a big deal if you don't have e-commerce until you're at the highest level, that's not great. Courier systems. Okay. No big deal. Maps integration, not a huge deal. Documented tasks workflow. So I would assume that's like the progress part of things. ERP. Okay. Again, not a big deal. Oh, Zapier <laughs> integration. Okay. That is a big deal because if you want to be able to like connect this to any of your other things that doesn't natively integrate with, and you have to be all the way up at enterprise to be able to do that, that that's not awesome. Customer panel automations and processes. So all that cool automation stuff we were looking at, you don't get it until you're at the highest level. Data analysis and free tech support. Okay. Okay. So here's what we think. It had a lot of really great features. Um, it had, you know, the contacts and the companies and the deals and the quotes and the invoices. Um, they also had like that simple task management as well. That's pretty cool. Um, also, you're able to integrate your email and um, some of the different options for um, e-commerce in there as well, which is very cool. Um, it was pretty easy to use the way that the user interface was, was very kind of, um, intuitive and expected to how a lot of websites work. Um, it was pretty easy to figure out and find things while we were in there. There were a few things we didn't quite find that, um, when we were looking at the pricing seemed to be possible, like the ability to customize the, the way that the quote looks or the invoices. And those are really kind of a big deal to me, right? Cause branding is, is important. Um, and being able to stand out on that piece of paper is a big deal. So that wasn't quite as easy to find. Um, and maybe we didn't have access to it in the trial and that's why I'm not sure. It's also relatively affordable when you look at, especially the lowest price point, that's pretty good. 19 bucks a month is not horrible. Um, when you're just starting out and it's just one user. Some of the things that we didn't love were that a lot of the best features were only at that enterprise level or even at the professional level. So, um, what you fall in love with when you're doing your trial, you kind of realize then, oh, I'm going to have to pay quite a bit more than I was thinking in order to get that. So don't love that. And I don't love that you're, you don't seem to really be able to customize anything or brand anything at the standard level. Not that that's super uncommon, but I don't love it. Okay. Quick little note here while I'm editing. Um, in the past couple of days, since I recorded the screen share and created my free trial um, account, Till now, um, I received a message request on Facebook from somebody who claims to work for Fermeo. And this wouldn't bother me so much if it was happening on my business page, but this actually happened on my personal Facebook profile, which is not in any way linked to my business or my website or any of that, which means that they went out of their way to search for me by name and then thought it was okay to reach out to me personally. I don't love this. This is like them finding my personal email or my personal cell phone and reaching out directly. Not a great look for Mayo. So would I recommend? 
So this really comes down to a couple of different things. So if you are brand new, then I think that a CRM of any kind is probably a little bit more than you need right now. You could totally make do with a piece of paper and a pen, um, a spreadsheet, a Trello board. You don't really need to move into a CRM until um, your business has grown a little bit or at very least until you have like employees, especially if you have anybody selling on your behalf. That would be really, really important to have. Um, so in that regard, if you're at that point in your business, then yeah, I think I would recommend um, for Mayo because it does seem to have quite a bit at a pretty decent price point. Um, but in general, I feel like it's probably, if you're still kind of starting out, there are probably cheaper and less complicated tools that you could use to keep track of, of a lot of the same information. So. so if you like this video, make sure that you click that like button and you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring that notification bell as well. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy. Hi.